Uh, right, let's just give you an update on the situation in central London. A demonstration by the campaign group Black Lives Matter has brought uh, Westminster to a standstill. Raya Salahi is there for us and can uh, give us the details. Raya. We join you on the intersection this evening by Big Ben, by Westminster Station and by Parliament Square. This is an area which is usually really busy at this time of day, but traffic for the past uh, hour or so has been brought to a complete standstill as campaigners gather tonight. I'm joined by one of those responsible for organising this action. Uh, Shazal, tell us why this is happening. Uh, this is to do with the enslavement of our brothers and sisters taking place in Libya right now in 2017. Um, there's a there's a there's a there's a current debate happening in Parliament right now, where they're looking at the situation in Libya and what we're going to do about it. As a family, as a family, we've come out today to say we're disgusted with what's happening. We're not happy with what's happening, and we want it to stop. So as you can hear right now, people are chanting, touch one, touch all. We won't have it anymore as a family. This is the third time we've come out today to protest this situation. On the 9th of December, we had thousands of people out on the streets saying we're not having this anymore. You say as a family, tell us about the group, the collective behind this action. So I represent um, a movement called Free My Tribe. The organisation I work for is called Slavery Remembrance. We hold a memorial in Trafalgar Square each year for our ancestors. As an organisation, we saw what was happening and we brought together 10 other organisations who are part of our family to come together and fight what's happening in Libya. But there are other organisations out here too. There's one called Gang Unite. Um, and we're all family, whether they're a part of this movement or not, we're all family. So everyone who, who's come out here today is part of our family, is part of the black family and we want to say enough is enough. We come together united and as one. A fair bit of anger towards what's happening here tonight. People travelling, walking past, asking why this is happening, why you're bringing traffic to a standstill. Police on the scene have told us they had no prior notice of this rally taking place. What's your response to that? Um, well, I know that to be untrue because I know at least one of the other organisers had been in contact with the police, um, so they were very much aware of this protest. Our protest isn't a secret, it's been publicly advertised. As I said, there was a protest which took place on the 9th of December where we had thousands of people in the heart of London, right here where we are now. That was, that was the second protest. The first protest was on the 26th of November. This is the third protest. So for the police to say they're unaware of it, I'm a bit perplexed as to why they would say such a thing. Now, really good to speak to you. Thanks for joining us. We're with you here in Westminster tonight where this demonstration continues. Uh, people bringing traffic to a standstill, uh, a range of groups behind it. And we understand they'll be here till at least six o'clock tonight. Uh, that's what we're being told on the ground tonight. So we're expecting uh, the protest to clear and traffic to return to normal from about six o'clock tonight. OK, uh, Ray Salahi there for us. Uh, the uh, situation in Westminster tonight. Right, a demonstration by campaign group Black Lives Matter has brought Westminster to a standstill this evening. Let's go there live. Ray Salahi is uh, uh, following events for us. Ray. Yeah, well, in the past 60 seconds or so, Anthony, traffic has just begun to move again here in the heart of, of the capital. Uh, but this was an action which brought traffic to a standstill for more than an hour tonight. And I'm joined by one of the organisers of this event, Kofi Delone, from the group African Lives Matter. Kofi, this wasn't exactly what you intended to happen tonight, was it? No, actually. It's a, well, we got hijacked a little bit, but uh, I mean, it was good good disruption to, to traffic. Tell yeah. us why this event was taking place, why this demonstration was taking place in the first place. So uh, this is uh, because of what's happening in Libya to African people, African migrants uh, trying to get to Europe by Libya and being enslaved by uh, Libyan militias. Uh, so, you know, if we uh, remember what's happened in Libya back in 2011 uh, when Gaddafi's government was toppled. So it's exactly why you know, Africans are being enslaved in Libya at the moment. So we're here to protest. And also today, Parliament is actually debating what's happening in Libya. So we're actually here to make our voices heard that the African diaspora, African people in the UK and around the world, we're concerned about what's happening to our precious and priceless brothers and sisters in Africa, in Libya, being tortured, being enslaved at the moment. Thank you. It's a cause which brought many out tonight. You say to a certain extent hijacked it. Are you welcoming of the number of people that turned out to bring traffic to a standstill in central London for this cause and many other 
others tonight. Well, we, 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 we appreciate uh, all people who came out today. This is a, it's a human affair. It's not just a black or white. It's not an African thing. It's a human affair. So we've got, we had people here from all sorts of other organizations uh, uh, not related to, to, to Africa, not related to African people. We are all, you know, all colors here today. So we, we, we appreciate you know, everyone's concern about what's happening in Libya. Yeah. I know you're keen to get into Parliament to take part in that debate. Thank you very much indeed for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for giving me a chance to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Kofi Delone from the group African Lives Matter, one of the organisers of tonight's event. And as you can see behind me, traffic has begun to move again here in Westminster. Uh, it does look as though the crowd has dispersed and things are getting back to normal here on the doorstep of Parliament tonight.